Hey there, this is Desiree from DesireePeoples.com and today we are doing another QOTW, which is the question of the week. And today's question comes from Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> and today's question is, Desiree, should I have more than one blog? Okay, well, I'm going to say the easy answer to this is it depends. And the only reason why I say it depends is because you don't want to have more than one blog just for the sake of having more than one blog. If you're going to have multiple blogs, then they each need to serve a distinct purpose and serve a distinct or specific audience or market. For example, if you are a wedding planner, <clears throat> excuse me, and you start blogging, well, you probably would set that blog up for people who are looking for your services for you know wedding planning services and stuff like that but if you are a wedding planner who say also trains other wedding planners and you want to set up a blog for that market well you would not want to use the same blog to communicate with that audience that you do with the first blog and I hope that makes sense in other words depending on the target market that you're trying to reach or connect with you would create multiple blogs to create or to connect with those different segments of the market now I'm a big believer that a blog should have a distinct reader in mind and that everything on the blog should serve that particular reader or viewer if it's a video blog but at the uh, on the flip side, I also believe that having more than one blog also serves another uh, or other benefits too that are not solely related to just your, your audience. For example, you can have more than one blog and you can cross promote your services on each. It allows you to have a lot more uh, online real estate and it allows you to market yourself in different ways to different people at the same time. So having more than one blog really can leverage you in many ways as long as you do it, you know, thoughtfully and effectively. So if you are considering starting another blog, make sure you have a distinct and clear purpose of what that blog or who that blog is for and what type of content or information you're going to be providing for that ideal client. So I hope that answers your question. If you'd like to submit a question for our QOTW, go ahead and send me an email to my email address, which is Desiree at mommyreporter.com. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week with another QOTW.